nationalism, uh, General Smeshko, I would like to ask you, on top of the usual corruption uh, to satisfy individual interests, um, under ex-president Yanukovych, military and security bodies have been deeply penetrated. How do you assess today's risk of subversion, terrorism, treason? Thank you very much. First of all, uh, I would like just to add several words about what was discussed before. Um, my dear friends, this is not uh, the conflict or not the war of Ukraine and Russia. This is aggression of Russia toward the free world uh, and this is the war between two civilizations. Uh, in Ukraine too, my dance was uh, really a shock for the current leaders in Kremlin because uh, democracy came to the border of Russian Federation and uh, the system of government in Russia not prepared for accept democracy. And uh, President Putin decided that the uh, European Union is very weak. Uh, America not prepared to be uh, engaged in European affairs effectively. And that is why there was started aggression against Ukraine with violation. First of all, uh, Budapest Protocol 1994. Uh, the world just uh, right now forget that only one country in this world for history of all civilization gave up the third nuclear arsenal of the world with the uh, whole card. Really, we, 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 we didn't think that we do need this weapon. Uh, and there is the signature of United States, UK, France, China, and Russia about the guarantee of our territorial integrity. In the 21st century, spreading of technology of nuclear weapons, you think will be stopped? There are other civilizations in this world. How you will argue with them to exchange possession of nuclear weapons for some promises? The secondly, Russia violated 1997 big treaty agreement with Ukraine about the recognition of our borders. I'm not speaking that we are right now uh, have deal with the biggest country in Europe. I'm uh, not speaking about Russia because Russia this is Euro-Asian country. And we are speaking with the country of Ukraine which paid 7 million in World War II and 3 million of their people in World War I and by itself didn't start a single conflict in this world. That is, this is the war between two civilizations. Here is some the picture here, I totally beg your pardon. You look in the, where is the freedom in the Euro-Atlantic environment. And this is my country, simply aware of the second. Uh, world know that after two Maidan, that civil society in my country will not tolerate any authoritarian regime in any corruption and we are coming to the corruption you know this is evil really the second main danger in my country we have one this is on our border and we have one inside and this corruption also has the roots this is uh, transit energy resources to your air this is pipeline on which uh, leadership of Kremlin historically did it best also to corrupt some part of elite of my country. And Maidan proved, number one, number two, that civil society of Ukraine will not tolerate this. For us right now very difficult. We are supposed to do everything at the same time in all the places to fight, to restructure armed forces, which really almost all was destroyed, I mean, in, in the strategic level of command. At the same time, we are supposed to start to fight the corruption. At the same time, we are supposed to restructure the economy. But uh, I can assure you that we know that without help, with help, we will do our job best. But we really need your understanding. This is war 
for the values. Uh, on second Maidan, I think the first time in European history, the people died in center of the Ky Kyiv with the European flags. Thank you. Uh, General, I have one question mm -hmm. for you. Could it be, in your view, an option if Western countries agreed for Ukraine's sovereignty uh, along the lines of U.S. guarantees to Taiwan, as some Western observers suggest? Of course, it would be a very good solution and uh, with the historical examples. Uh, my personal opinion is that uh, from the very beginning, of uh, international negotiations, how to stop uh, the fight uh, in the eastern part of Ukraine. Um, the only one format diplomatic for this, that was supposed to be the Budapest Agreement format. Plus, this format only might be uh, spread. Uh, Germany and European Union might participate also, plus to this format. Uh, in this case, it would be honest with respect for international law and just uh, for secure the international law order. Uh, and an um, example which you mentioned, because uh, honestly to say, Ukraine invested mostly in security of United States, because uh, 176 heavy ICBMs with the 10 warheads on every one I'm not speaking about the strategic bombers with the cruise missiles and all the other were aimed uh, against the United States. And uh, Minister Grisenka told, this is just uh, only from the financial point of view, there was heavy burden uh, which was taken from the shoulders of the United States. That is a special uh, commitment of the United States, of course, would uh, resolve a lot of problems. Means agreement. Uh, it's understandable that uh, politics, uh, this is the art of uh, possibility. There was in uh, days in which uh, our government decided to do in this way, there was only one possibility for Kiss Fire, and just to stop the killing the people over there. Because uh, Russia really prescribed scenario more preferable for Russia, and uh, West was not prepared to back Ukraine more than he backed in those days. Remember the uh, strategy with the uh, MH17. After this strategy, Ukraine once again arrived uh, on uh, TV and uh, West just uh, waked up. Crimea, there was uh, uh, advices from the West, not provocate Russians. My opinion, I openly used to say this many times, if we would fight in Crimea, we wouldn't have Eastern uh, region problems right now. Uh, and right now, I think it's understandable who uh, doesn't fulfill the Minsk agreement. OECS uh, freely uh, check every point on territory of Ukraine, but uh, recognize and say this also openly, uh, does not access to the all sites on occupied territories. Who is judge in this case? And that is my opinion, as my colleagues I tell them, uh, we are supposed to look for another format. And I think, once again, my personal opinion, Budapest Protocol, if they are in this world international law or not. If not, that is, we are all approaching a very, very difficult situation. Uh, nuclears in Crimea, can you, when there is a territorial regime in the country, to control uh, the steps of this country? This country might do everything. This is once again, two civilizations is fighting. Democracy came to the border of Russia. Russia um, government fears this. We all supposed to think about it for long, long term. In Ukraine right now, it's the measure. Will evolutionary process of democracy will go further in your era because until you're all mountain, this is also your era. Or we just uh, stayed aside and wait. What it will be after this? There are other civilization, and this is 21st century with the technology. That is, this is the case of battle between two civilization. 
and we are supposed to wake up much more faster. <laughs> um, you know, uh, immediately after this strategy, uh, there was published, uh, recorded by the Security Service of Ukraine, conversation about the uh, uh, equipage of book which penetrated to our country, uh, and we, we knew uh, from operational sources how it was, uh, how it was transferred. You remember that uh, at just the same time, uh, GRU published uh, fake uh, satellite pictures in which accused Ukraine that there was a fighter uh, of Ukraine which uh, just shoot. But uh, professionals immediately uh, knew that it, it, it possible only made by book system. Uh, moreover, uh, about the Holland part of investigation right now, Holland requested to Russians uh, about the elements because they have elements of uh, warhead of uh, missile uh, 9M 38M1 which penetrated uh, really the uh, cockpit and uh, um, this plane. And Almaz Antein recently published, after three versions, there was three versions, the Russians the first said this is a uh, fighter of Ukrainian uh, Air Force, the secondly that Ukrainians wanted to uh, shoot on Putin, which is supposed to fly on this road. Right now Russia did recognize, it's impossible anymore, uh, to say this is not book system, it's proved this is book system. Right now they are trying to say, oh, uh, uh, the shot was not from the uh, this direction, it's supposed to be from Ukrainian side. Listen, uh, I'd love to tell you that we have right now the strong air defense system. Uh, by my knowledge, the last uh, capable book of our air defense system uh, was sold to Georgia. <laughs> and basically in Georgia uh, participated and Ukrainian armed forces I mean, didn't deploy in this conflict because Russia didn't use air force in those days what the hell book of Ukrainians supposed to be deployed over there but I think we are approaching we are approaching right now for the uh, clearing this situation but your question about the prohibition for interim this is the main problem for many intelligence services and foreign uh, services of the country and I completely agree with the uh, uh, House uh, Chamber of Lords, Parliament of UK uh, testimony that uh, intelligence services of the West and in some way foreign offices of the West completely insufficient uh, and just proved with this escalation of conflict they wasn't prepared for this and didn't work properly. Uh, from my experience previously, 9-11, uh, I mean, the American government had a lot of information, but on the top level, sometimes bureaucrats don't want it to take upon themselves responsibility, make decision, and uh, have all responsibility themselves. Um, of course, this is awful tragedy, and Ukraine, I think, more than other country, wanted to clear everything. We cooperate with all parts, and we will try to provide what we might from our side full careers because this strategy is supposed to be severely punished. Uh, a question about the um, Maidan on which uh, really there was second Maidan was started by students. The first uh, days these students didn't permit the opposition party member of parliament even to participate. They were with the European flags. They started because uh, 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 violation basically by Yanukovych uh, government, they overstepped and uh, disaster and Vilnius uh, signed an agreement by the way. Uh, cabinet of ministers stopped in last minutes, but by our constitution the president possibly responsible for foreign policy, not the cabinet of ministers. And the students went over there and uh, with the European flags uh, people really died over there and I think of course Ukraine want to be member of European Union, want to be the member of NATO. But uh, this is supposed also uh, from side of the West, this kind of decision. I, I can tell you only one small figure. You know that if Ukraine, this is very rich country, you know this, very enormous rich country. If Ukraine would be uh, in the European Union, uh, you Arab, 
will be number one producer of food in the world. Right now, not. And uh, resources of Ukraine, we can produce, uh, we spoke about military industrial complex, we can produce aircraft carriers, ICBMs, booster for satellites, satellites, electronics, uh, uh, the best transport aircraft, uh, Antonov. But uh, business is business, and we do understand this. And we need investment also, European investment for the, our common house, but this is long-term uh, period. And uh, finally, what I think we need, we need understanding that we are fighting for our and your freedom. We are European. We're supposed to understand that I think this is time maybe for Marshall Plan for Ukraine. The biggest European country by territory in, in Ukraine there would be the future of the Atlantic civilization if we will continue our uh, way to the east and influence peacefully, evolutionary, or we will be uh, taken out.